Welcome to the pub, welcome to my world. I'm SideQuest Publications, and these are my thoughts on YouTube's numbers game. I see a lot of advice roaming around lately about how many subscribers you need to be a success on YouTube. Now, everyone has their own definition of success, but personally, I don't think the number of subscribers really matters. If you're in it for the fun of making videos or for sharing the things you enjoy, then the quality of your subscribers is what you need. People who enjoy the same things you do. And if that's the video making, more power to you. If it's interaction you want, then you need to interact something I need to work on anywhere online. And if you actually are after the ad revenue or selling products or anything else financial, well, the number of subscribers, sub, sub, I can't talk. Uh, the number of subscribers does indirectly matter. The more subscribers you have, the better the odds of getting your views and the better the odds of getting a sale from those views. But you can get views without subscribers and having more subs doesn't guarantee views. And ultimately, at least the way YouTube is set up with their ad revenue and their monetization features, the views are where the money comes from. That being said, those numbers still matter, even to me. And the reason they matter is because those restrictions do exist. It is with this frame of mind that I have my own set of milestones to reach the number of subscribers I want or need to make my channel work the way I want it to. I have small goals and I have large ones. I would focus on the small goals first, not because I am not good enough for the bigger ones, as one YouTuber suggested when insisting that 10,000 subs is the only goal worth pursuing. Well, for that person, maybe it was, but that has nothing to do with any other YouTuber. No, I would start with the smaller goals as a measure of my progress. I cannot, after all, reach 10,000 subscribers without first having reached, say, 100. And my goals are based not on financial gain, except as a side effect, but rather on the function of YouTube's other tools. First milestone. I want a custom web address. None of this random letters and numbers gobbledygook. I want my own channel name as part of the web address to make it easier for potential viewers to find. Not to mention, I just don't like the random letters and numbers. And to a certain extent, I need that custom address to make it easier for potential viewers to find. And last I knew, YouTube allowed this customization at 100 subscribers. Second milestone? Yeah, I want to monetize my channel. I'd like to be able to make some money from it. I, I don't expect for some time to uh, make big money at it. I don't expect to be an overnight sensation, uh, like it would be overnight with how many years this channel has been active, or semi-active, but whatever. Um, I had already considered making a thousand subscribers subscribers. I cannot say that word. I had already considered making a thousand subscribers. My third, second milestone, excuse me, I'm reading from a script here that, you know, completely skipped over the scripted first milestone, which was nothing to do with the numbers. But anyway, I'd already considered making 1000 subscribers my second milestone. But due to YouTube's recent changes in the partner program, I kind of now need it to be my second milestone. No more considering that's what it is. I would certainly like to earn money from my channel. Like I said, there's no denying that. But there are other tools that are exclusive to monetize partners that I want access to. For one, the ability to link to certain external websites from within the video itself. I mean, wouldn't it make sense to allow, say, my travel theme channel to link the videos directly to its sister site on WordPress or Instagram? 
for one of my booktubing videos to link to a review of the particular book or uh, one of my Patreon videos to actually link to my Patreon page. Links in the description with, with uh, the, in this world of YouTube apps that don't necessarily see descriptions, links in the description simply aren't enough anymore. And the third milestone, well, that's actually for the future. I'm not so sure I'm comfortable making the leap from 1,000 to 10,000 subscribers between my, you know, second and third milestones. Because, you know, 100 to 1,000 is a, is a, quite a gap as it is, but 1,000 to 10,000 is an even bigger gap. Uh, I might want to put some other number in there somewhere along the way, again, as a measure of my progress rather than a true, I need this many subscribers for insert reason here. But we'll see how things go as I continue to explore the jungle that is social media. The other trick, however, is that I've actually got two other channels that all need to reach the same numbers. There is, as previously mentioned, my travel-themed channel called Tammy's Travels, which, while even more sporadically updated than this one, is still important to me as far as making sure it's possible to pe for people to find it, to use those tools, the custom uh, web address, and all that. Uh, there's also my gaming channel. Uh, the name of this channel has been changed before, maybe changed yet again until I find something that works, but at the time of this recording, it's called SideQuest Pubs. It used to be gaming with SideQuest publications. Monetizing this one doesn't concern me nearly as much as the other two, even without the copyright angle. I mean, I am playing games that other people created. There's simply the fact that my gaming habits are just as sporadic as my online habits, actually even more so, and I rarely have any footage to upload. But again, there are those partner-exclusive tools to be desired. And for anyone worried about making similar goals for their own creative pursuits, just remember. And as Dan, Dan Brown is known to have said. And that's all the time we have for now. The pub is now closed, and I hope I will see you again. Bye.